Wynn here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to create beautiful fall trees using the wet on wet technique. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification and we'll get started. Did you know I have a watercolor art course that takes you from being unconfident in watercolor to sharing your art with the world around you? Well, I do, and as you can see, my students are seeing great results in just a short amount of time. So if you've been struggling to get your watercolors to look right or just need a coach to point you in the right direction, book a call with me today using the link in the description below and we'll see if you're a good fit for my program. Look forward to talking with you soon. Okay, we're going to start off by wetting our page. And I'm going to wet it in a way that actually looks like the shape of the tree. So you can see that my outline shape is right here and I'm just trying to get that generalized shape. And here's a picture of my tree. I'm gonna to try to match the colors. So I'm gonna use Opera Rose, Cad Orange, Lemon Yellow, and a little bit of Cad Red. I like to put my colors out kind of like in paint swatches so I know exactly what mixtures I have. And now I'm just laying down the wet watercolor paint into the wet. And I'm using a mixture of Opera Rose and Cad Yellow to create the edges. And I'm just going to dab around uh, with Cad Red and now with, I added a little bit of Payne's Gray to create the shadow on the other side. And you can see the water is going wherever I've outlined already. I'm using Cad Red now. I'm using it in a way that's a little bit more saturated, so it's like olive oil. And as I build up the layers, I'm just letting the water run. And I know that it can only go as far as where I put the wet uh, initial stages. So now I'm mixing Burnt Sienna with Payne's Gray in Cad Red. And now I'm adding a little bit of Yellow Ochre. And these consistencies are basically like 80% pigment or color and 20% water. So I'm really now saturating, getting my Payne's Gray, Burnt Sienna. I'm gonna define the little uh, edge of the tree now and the, the base. And there's a couple different uh, roots coming out. So I really want to create those edges but still give it a nice shape to it. You can see that now I'm taking away some of the, the paint and adding a little bit of that shadow line to now make it really pop out at you. And this color is Burnt Sienna and Payne's Gray. And now that I use the hair dryer, you can see how much lighter it actually dries to. And now I'm gonna get 99% color on my brush, Payne's Gray and Cad Red, and mix a little bit of that orange in there. And I'm just going to do some dry brushing. So this is a fun technique that gives the illusion that there are stems and leaves, and I'm just brushing very lightly across the surface and this gives it a little bit more shape. And now I'm going to get those leaves a little bit more orange, give it a little more depth. Now you can really see the three-dimensionality of the tree. And it's giving it a lot more life and shape. So these are just expressive uh, dry brushing marks. And I'm just about done. Thanks so much for following along with me today. And if you have a new idea for a watercolor topic that you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.